What is up guys, Fado82 coming at you with another base build video in which we're taking a look at building on monuments. This time we're taking a look at a satellite base design. I've seen base designs like this before, they've looked a little bit different, but we've gone ahead and we've tested it out with Riot from the YPB crew. The satellite dish is a monument in the game, so this is considered a monument base. Now right off the bat, yes, you can shoot rockets at it, but the advantage to the satellite is that the entire backside of the satellite actually acts as a shield for rockets. We did some testing and if you fire rockets at this angle on the base, it does not damage the base and it actually doesn't do any splash damage, so it serves as a bit of a shield. In terms of the front of the base, absolutely it can be hit with rockets, any base in Rust can, and that's something that you're going to have to just be aware of, it's part of the game. Riot has built a modified structure down here which houses a stairwell, and then up top he needs to build a modified elevator to get up top. Yes, ladders can be placed to get up to that point, but because the raider would not have building privilege, you're not going to be able to actually build up to get to the satellite dish itself. If you want to mitigate against ladders at that point, you can actually build ledges on this structure, which will help to prevent against the ladders on that base structure. In terms of the satellite, there is a stairwell over here. We did some testing, and it's not super important to worry about walling this off. It's actually not important at all. Someone can run up to this point on the satellite, but they can't really get any farther at that point. They can place a ladder just about in this location, but it's not going to get them anywhere. The satellite is very tricky to ladder up. You actually can't ladder up any more than this point here, and it's really a good base design in terms of being fairly ladder proof, if you will. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at a time lapse from Riot uh, in terms of his build, and then we'll go ahead and have him walk us through the build. Alright guys, and we're here with a mad scientist of building, Riot. He's going to take us through and show us some of the intricacies of this base build. So Riot, what do you think about building on a satellite? What's the uh, what's the upside to it? Well, upside uh, is the lack of ladders. I mean, uh, apparently it's hard to ladder up there. We did a lot of testing, you and I, both together, and tried to yeah. ladder up on this thing, and uh, it's just, you can't place them underneath the dome there. We the did... Absolutely. We, we did a uh, extensive test on ladders here because we know that people get really 
picky about that type of stuff, and rightly so. Um, and you can place ladders a little bit here and there, but absolutely you cannot get up onto the satellite dish itself. And really, we found that there's really not much of a purpose to even waste many resources in walling off the stairwell here. Is that your take on it too, Riot, that the stairwell here is really not as important as it is on other monuments? No, no, not like the orb. The, you know, in order to get up on the orb, you need to access the ladder. Um, with this, it doesn't lead you up to the core of the, where the satellite and your base is going to be on top of where we are looking underneath right now. So it's not necessary in any way. I mean, I guess you can make this kind of a shooting position, but you're, you're pretty much safe and sound on top of that uh, satellite dish. And that's my take on it, too. The resources are going to be better spent on your base. And maybe later on, if you want to build a different base down there, you can go ahead and do it. So take us up into the base and show us how somebody gets in a base like this. And talk a little bit about what this is here down at the bottom for players who aren't aware of what this type of structure is. Sure. This is just a stairway. Um, it's a two by one. I armored the bottom here to make sure, you know, it was hard to see for. It's not terrible uh, to build and it's not very resource intensive to build. You can see that it's just four stories tall. I don't want to give any other players access with ladders to get all the way up, so I would never reinforce anything beyond that point. But it's just an easy way to protect yourself, sort of an airlock, to get you from you know, the bottom here all the way up to your satellite safely. Absolutely. And, you know, players, the first thing people are going to comment is they're going to say, you know, we can ladder up that. But even if they ladder up and get to it, they're not going to get very far. Uh, if they get up top there, they're not going to have building privilege to be able to do much. Now, you right. could you could put uh, some overhangs on the side of this building to mitigate against those ladders. If So take us up here and show us how somebody gets up to the base who has building access. You're doing um, a modified elevator in this position. when you got up was I built these cupboards because you know of course you want to be protected while you're up here building right I built these cupboards and I took down my original elevator that I had put up and then I felt semi safe I decided to build a circle using a you know a square triangle square triangle circle around one of these poles take us through that if you could sure gonna come through here yep all right. So you've ar you've made this the armored tier here to protect this first core, which is going to be the most likely point of entry for somebody who's going to come up into the base. That's the other thing is if people are going to watch the video, they're going to say, well, you know, you can just shoot rockets and blow it up. And of course, you can sh blow anything up in Rust. There, nothing is going to be immune to rockets or C4 or anything like that. Um, yep. But when you're doing a base like this, kind of like the base on the lighthouse, you know, is that if you're only worried about rockets and you're not worried so much about C4 or pickaxes, that's essentially two things right out of the equation. So for somebody to want to fire rockets in here, they're really going to want to put the time and effort into doing that and what are they going to get out of doing that if they can't access the loot right we did some testing earlier we shot some rockets up here and uh you know we the great thing about the satellite um is that it mitigates a lot of the damage from yeah the underneath so yep. i mean we were getting about seven damage or 70 damage per rocket on a foundation which is very good it gives you adequate time if it's an active raid to get near your foundations and repair them Absolutely. So, we, well, guys, what we found is that the uh, satellite dish was actually soaking up some of the rocket damage, surprisingly enough. So they could still hit some of the foundations from underneath, but it was soaking up the damage from the rockets. So you'd have to actually invest more rockets into destroying a base like this. Yep. So take us up to the uh, top floor, Riot. Let's kind of move through the base here. And uh, you have a secret to show us right here, don't you? Yeah, sure. You Using half floors and a you know a natural staircase like this, you can hide loot. So I just turn the staircase. Yep. So you get a secret. Everybody knows about this. Well, people already know. There's a lot of videos out there. Yeah, in, but, in you know, you can hide loot. Here. Showing this, but you can hide loot. You normal players, you don't need admin access. You can rotate staircases and um, make secret loot chambers under your stairs. And uh, like you said, you don't want to make it stand out, so you wouldn't want to armor it up. That would be a sort of a standout if one thing was sticking out. So keep it uniform with what's around it. Uh, and you got a furnace room going in here. I can hear your furnaces. Yep. Yep. Look at that Two bad boy. Look at that. Per, per triangle square. These are triangle floors. They're not foundations. There's no right. triangle foundations in the center. 
But uh, each each uh, one of the six can house two furnaces, so you have a total of ten. Yep, that's a beautiful nice. it's a beautiful furnace room as always, and uh, really like it. So let's move up to the top of the base, take a look, and see what's going on up there. Sure. Rotate some of these doors. Yep, it's, it's the same, you know, symmetrical pattern as you go up. You'll have different areas with different loot. Yep. And uh, different rooms where you can stash your loot. Um, and this is this would be a pretty good loot room in here, I think, actually, um, taking a look at it. It's sort of dead center and seems to be fairly well protected. Um, that would actually make a good loot room in there. Yeah, keep in mind, you have to be... You have to really make people upset, really upset at you, um, to invest a lot of resources to blow you up yeah. without anything in return. Unfortunately, and, and unfortunately, I, you I you get. Rap, but it you, happens to us all the time. Well, I was gonna YPB. say, I was gonna say, unfortunately, YPB knows that firsthand, right? People, <laughs> yes. people oh, will man. waste resources just to knock you guys off the map. But get, just to blown up all the time. <laughs> let some newer players know over here who don't know about maybe building in Rust, you have a door here that they might say, "Look, it goes nowhere." But this is a, a way to get out of your base if you're getting raided or if you want to get out in a way where somebody's not going to see you getting out of the base. So you can just hop right out, which is an important feature you want to have in a base. You never want to be bottlenecked right at just one entry point. So you want to have a mode of egress and be able to either jump out a window or use a door like this to get back out. Mm -hmm. But So let's move you up to the... I place it on the back edge yeah. where I have the highest part of the satellite. So if I am getting rocketed to the face and my base is a huge meat shield for rockets, this is going to be the surviving door. This is going to be the surviving area. Absolutely. A lot of the stuff behind, you know, the main base, if you want to put other one-by-ones with loot inside of them, this is fairly protected back here. Keep Absolutely. In mind that yep. If they can't maybe build a siege tower to get up here or ladder up here, then rockets are what you're what you're afraid of. Now, people might comment on that as well and say, you know, you can build it. So you can tower up to it. You can build a siege tower. We did some testing on that as well, and we found that with the placement of the cupboards here, it was actually very very difficult uh, if not impossible to get a siege tower to the point where you could get on top of the satellite now what do you have for a room up here you got a little room going on up here it looks like probably yep. it's just a loot room with some you know, research bench and yep. a, a place to spawn at bag. yeah a good sniping position in case you're defending but for the most part i would hope for the most part that if you took a build on you know like this it's a very frustrating build it is a frustrating build it is a frustrating build Take on the time and build something like this, even if it's small and you build a two by two. Um, I would hope that you're you have a relatively quiet week, you know. And um, I would think so. Hope. And even if you build just a small two by two up here, you're actually going to be less. You're gonna have less of a footprint for raider for rockets too, and even be even harder to hit. So even a smaller base on a satellite. Um, is going to work out quite well and i think it's a good base design for players who don't have a lot of time in the game or a lot of resources because they're going to be able to go ahead and build a small base up here with minimal investment in terms of resources they can still build that um tower outside that you had which isn't going to be super resource intensive and then build a small base up here and they're going to be good to go um so i think it's an effective design on a smaller scale you know for players who don't have a you know a lot of time to give to the game what do you think about if that yeah if you're willing to if you're willing to build the tower on the bottom from the ground floor up every time and erase that from being there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. If you use the satellite and build something small, something that's hard to really kind of hard to notice from a distance, you're most likely not going to be noticed up there. You know what I mean? So building small is actually a great idea. You'd be very hidden. The satellite's got a huge footprint and it's tough to see inside the crest. It definitely is. I mean, they would definitely see the the tower out front and maybe know something was up there. But to put the re the especially if it's a small base too, they're not going to probably put a lot of resources into what they think would be a small yield. So that's going to work in your favor too. So, what are your final thoughts, Riot, to give to people on this type of a design on a satellite design? Again, uh, you know, uh, using the different monuments here in Rust and being able to build um, his each one has a different uh, benefit. And I found the satellite. Again, mitigating ladders is a great idea. Having a natural shield from underneath is a great thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it has enough space to house a large group. So for the small groups, it's got benefit. For the large group, it has significant benefit. Again, if you, if you are fearful of, you know, someone coming and blowing up your base, well, that can happen. And if you want to build a mega structure, then that's the way to go for you. If you have a team building, you know, that can build a 10 by 10 that's all armored, 
you're gonna have a better shot and utilize uh you know smart building and tough building um then uh, you know try out the satellite maybe it'll work out for you oh uh, well i hope it does um, thanks a lot man thanks a lot for your help on this yeah man hey if you want to uh you know kind of post in the comments and uh let it, let me know you know if you're interested in seeing different types of builds i'm, I'm interested to see so if you if you, you know if you guys want to post I'll, I'll give you feedback and then we can all come together and build something one of these days absolutely man sounds good all right right talk to you later man and peace peace all right guys and as always i hope you enjoyed this video this is a concept based build on a monument and mileage varies, you know, in the future we might not be able to build on monuments, but right now we can. So my personal belief is that they're fair game at this point. But check with your server admins. Some admins get a bit salty if you build on a monument. So uh, just double check with them to make sure it's okay. And let us know, guys, if you try to do a build like this on the satellite dish, how it worked out for you. If you had any great success with it or any trouble, let us know in the comments. We can try to talk about it and have an open dialogue. If you want to interact with Riot, he's going to be reading the comments as well. So feel free to hit him up for any information on this build. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Fado82, peace.